Hey, what's up guys? Today's video is going to be a little different. I'm still in vacation mode, so that means I'm being really lazy with videos. Uh, this one's just going to be me playing a video game while well, talking about three movies. Just simple, no editing whatsoever. I've been on vacation for a little bit and I have had zero drive to do anything. And it's nice, but I also want to write and I haven't been able to write, which kind of sucks. Uh, but yeah, after my trip to Chicago, which will be happening in a week, I will be back to regular videos, like actually edited videos. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to play um, Dreader, which I hear is really cute and really fun. And I would say there's no lights in the room, but I have these two giant bright lights on me. Uh, but the rest is off. It's complete dark, besides these two. Alright, we're going to play the game now. What we're first going to talk about is Moon Knight. Um, I really liked Moon Knight. Moon Knight was really fun. Um, it's my favorite Marvel show. Uh, that being said, I do know quite a bit about the character. I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan, uh, but I loved Moon Knight. I thought it was great. Um, I can see why people had some criticisms with it if you're a huge fan of the character, uh, but most of it made sense to me. I do want to say, I kind of wish I didn't know anything about Moon Knight watching the series, because um, not going to lie, the mystery was really fun, and it was kind of fun to watch with friends because they knew nothing about Moon Knight, uh, so that was really cool uh, to see like them kind of experience it firsthand. Even knowing the character, I still think the show was really fun. Yeah. Also, time goes down below, because I am going to like talk about a lot of big stuff in Moon Knight. I think Oscar Isaac really nailed uh, Mark Spector, in my opinion. Um, I always thought he would be a bit more gritty, uh, but overall, I... I thought he did a great job. Oscar Isaac's just an, an amazing actor. I mean, what can we say? Uh, absolutely fantastic. I think their interpretation of Steven was... Did you see that? Yeah. I think their interpretation of Steven was not perfect uh, by any stretch. But I think it worked well with the show. Uh, I did expect more of a detective role. Um, and we did get sort of... We did sort of get a detective role. Uh, just not the one I kind of really envisioned whenever I read the comics. Uh, but I thought that was fine. I think the mystery is really fun. This mystery is really fun. I'm going to turn around. How about that? I'm going to turn around. Um, um. It was nice to have Ethan Hawke as a villain. I thought he did a really good job. That painting really screwed up with me. This game's fun. I think Ethan Hawke did a really good job, and I hope to see more of him, but I just don't think he's super compelling as a villain. When it comes to comics, I think Moon Knight did a fairly good job. It's definitely reminiscent of like the 2013 run that I read before. Um, it, I still think Marvel hasn't really stuck a landing perfectly as they did with Loki when it comes to their TV series. I think the ending of Loki is really perfect. I think this one kind of slipped a little bit, uh, but I had some fun action, some really fun choices, and I'm glad the show had a lot of just talking, you know? It wasn't really just run-and-gun action, quippy joke. or I mean, there are still quippy jokes, uh, but most of them, I think, worked for me. It was some of the better humor of Marvel, uh, but it was just a lot of talking, and I really enjoyed that. So, yeah, Moon Knight's my favorite. 9 out of 10. Great. Let's move on to The Northman. I like The Northman. Northman was the most himbo man movie you could even think of. Uh, to himbo, if I'm being honest. Um, if you don't know what himbo means, it's bimbo, but for a man. I thought it was, I thought it was kind of a fun movie. Um, I think Robert Eggers is definitely an amazing filmmaker. My only problem is I think he just does best with horror. The action was fun. It was a cool movie. I was just expecting a lot more. Like, I mean, if you've seen The Lighthouse or The Witch, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Uh, but for this, I just thought, you know, it was it was just a fun movie. I give it like an 8 out of 10. There's not really too much to talk about it. It's Hamlet, but with Vikings. Uh, himbo Hamlet, uh, you may uh, call it. I'd be fast. I, I suck at mouse stuff. You know, I can enjoy my himbo Hamlet. At one point, he gets the worst haircut I've ever seen in a movie. Like the movie you expect, I'm just going to stay right here. The movie you expect them to have long hair because of the trailers? Nope, it's very, very short. Not that luxurious, beautiful long hair. Completely gone. Uh, and it gets like this whole... 
he gets this horrible bowl cut. It's kind of hard to play this game talking about movies, being in a, like an alone room with all this. Like I, you guys can hear. Anyhow, like I said, there's not too much to talk about uh, Viking Hamlet. It was really good. Seven point five out of ten. Filmmaking wise, it's great, and some really cool fantasy elements in it. And I was told that I would like the Green Knight because the entire Green Knight is like all fantasy, and North Moon was like very little fantasy. You know what I mean? So I need to watch Green Knight. That's that's definitely on my list. I just don't want to pay fifteen bucks on Amazon. I don't want to watch like a low res version of it on like a illegal movie website. But yeah, seven point five out of ten. I expected a lot more, but uh, yeah, it's good. It's a it's a good movie. I d it, I don't know how to explain it. I just wish there was more horror in it. Just a fun movie. Oh, I see. Anyway, we're going to talk about Doctor Strange, which is what everyone's raging out about. I'll do spoiler free at the start, but it's very little, if I'm being honest. Doctor Strange was fun. And it's mind boggling to me to think that people think it's like one of the worst Marvel movies. I. Th I love the MCU. I really do. But I'm getting really sick and tired of its formulaic approach. Uh, and Doctor Strange was just real nice. I will tell you that. Doctor Strange and Sam Raimi style is so fun. I love Sam Raimi style. Evil Dead is fantastic. Of course everyone likes Spider-Man. Spider-Man's fantastic. We all know that. Am I nearing the end of this? I hope this isn't short. I don't want like, me talking about Doctor Strange without playing the game. Anyway, Sam Raimi style, unmatched. Absolutely awesome. I loved it. It, it did get... A little too camp and goofy for me if I'm being honest there is a line where Rachel McAdams uh, shoots like a zombie and says go back to hell or something like that that was one of them where I'm like okay you could have you could have uh, you could have cut that bud uh, but I like the goofiness of it I, I like goofy comic book movies I think the some of the funniest and best parts of Batman is when it's a little goofy and I'm talking about the Batman like Robert Pattinson's the Batman and even 1966 Batman. I just like goofy things. I also like things to be serious, but not everything has to. Um, and I just thought, this, this game's really good. I just thought Doctor Strange was just so fun. I'm just going to pause here for a minute so the game doesn't know while I'm talking about Doctor Strange. I'm going to get into spoilers now, so skip to this time code if you don't want to hear spoilers. But go see Doctor Strange, please. Apparently it's very mixed. Spoilers. A lot of people are so mad about the assassination of of Wanda. Sorry, of Wanda. I don't think people really paid attention to Wanda Vision. If you really think Wanda is like a super good person, that's one thing. Wanda stands. You guys are the worst. I just feel like people just didn't really understand the character or didn't pay attention to certain things in Wanda Vision. I liked her as a villain a lot. I thought that was really fun. She turned into like this Sam Raimi horror movie monster for like a good chunk of it, and it was great. I loved it. It was so cool. Whenever she is like acting like a monster, there is some wonky CGI, and I wish they could push the horror. That's another thing. This movie, uh, this movie pushes the PG-13. Not really. PG-13 movies can be quite violent and for a Marvel movie I can see this being a little jarring to people especially people with kids that's the main thing I can see little kids being like eh, I wouldn't want like a little kid seeing this I thought it was great and I wish you could just push it a little bit more but obviously I understand certain guidelines I know kids go see these movies I just thought like the horror and the gore was really really cool perfectly sold me I like the theme of the movie about like are you really happy I think that's a really new theme for a Marvel movie I liked it a lot it was really cool we'll just get into the cameos now uh, I truly did not expect Black Bolt, of all things. I had a feeling we were getting Mr. Fantastic. I knew uh, Patrick Stewart was going to show up, but literally Black Bolt, ab absolutely insane. I would never have guessed, uh, especially after Inhumans, that horrible, horrible TV show that I've never seen, and I just never will. That was great. That was great. And the inclusion of Peggy Carter's fun. I liked all the cameos. They were really fun and not uh, too hammered in. I think... Um, I like Bruce Campbell. I love Bruce Campbell. And I wish his was a bit more, but he has the best in credit scene. I, he has one of the best in credit scene of all of Marvel. Super funny. Super camp. I loved it. I thought that was great. I didn't expect myself to get so excited during this movie. Because not going to lie, I, I had my expectations pretty low for this. Um, but I really liked it. I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Let's just go ahead. Okay, so, so I could have... Didn't, I didn't have to sit here talking this whole time. I'm sure this is almost over, though. This video is almost over. 
I heard something over there. Like in my actual room. Oh. Oh. I think it was fitting to choose this game while talking about Doctor Strange. I can't keep my mouse in, as you guys clearly saw. I just like, I just like the horror element that Doctor Strange had. I just wish it, I do wish it was scarier, uh, cause on, cause you clearly, you guys know I love my horror if you really pay attention. Okay, but I'm really happy Sam Raimi really pushed as much as he could. I think for a almost horror Marvel movie. Uh, not borderline rated R. A lot of people, I suck. A lot of people call it borderline rated R. No, you just, you clearly don't know how dark and how gritty a PG-13 movie can really get. I am, I am very surprised John Krasinski as Reed Richards. I thought that was pretty cool. I don't think he's going to be the main Mr. Fantastic. I, I truly, truly don't. Also, I loved how all of them got killed, especially Black Bolts. Awesome. And like John Krasinski you have turned into like string cheese. That was great. Um, but I I really didn't ex I really didn't expect I really don't expect Marvel to keep him as Mr. Fantastic. If I'm being completely honest. Apparently originally supposed to be Daniel Craig, but he didn't wanna like do it just like a couple minutes of filming just to like risk getting COVID since London was getting a lot of COVID stuff at the time of filming. I think Daniel Craig is a really interesting choice for Mr. Fantastic. I don't know if I fully love it. Uh, I do like John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic, though. I, I like that casting, um, but it did seem a little too fan servicey. It, it just I think it'd be a safe choice just to not not stick with him. And if they do, that's great. Uh, just don't mess up your casting for Doctor Doom. That's the main one. That's the only, only thing I'm truly caring about right now is Dr. Doom's casting, whenever they do him, by the way. Also, I think my favorite part in the entire movie is the music battle. That was so awesome. I don't know if you guys know this about me. Um, most of you guys were being honest. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't jump. I didn't scream. Also, my dad's asleep. I can't. Is that it? Is that the dreader? Was that him? start oh it is the end okay that was a cute that was a cute game i really liked it that was really fun i don't know any other browsing games i'll just sit at the screen as i finish up i like dr strange i thought the music was great danny elfman always does a great job the music fight was awesome absolutely loved it i think i already said that i guess my my main disappointment with dr strange is it's titled multiverse of madness but it really wasn't like a multiverse of madness. Do you do you understand what I'm trying to say? I do wish there was more multiversal stuff. Not cameos, more like dimensions, multiversal travel. I do wish there was more of that. I understand why pe I'm, a, I'm a little disappointed by that, but I don't hate the movie. I don't like dislike the movie. I really liked it. I had a fun time with it. That's my main gripe with it, is that it doesn't feel like they're, they use their potential for like crazy, wacky multiverse stuff. You know what I'm saying? Especially after seeing everything everywhere all at once. Doesn't compare. Oh yeah, I saw that movie. There's no need to review it. 10 out of 10. Love that movie. Fantastic. I cannot wait to see it again. My only complaint with that movie is the movie felt way longer than the runtime was. Batman was 3 hours. That movie's like 2 hours and like uh, 20 minutes. That movie feels way longer than Batman. 
uh, just because it's so fast paced. Still, ten out of ten. Love that movie. Fantastic. Yeah, that's my only complaint with Doctor Strange. It just wasn't as crazy with multiversal stuff. I I don't understand why people are so upset that half of DC and Star Wars and Marvel showed up for the movie. You guys really need to manage your expectations. I'm serious. Like the you. I, I, I have nothing else to say. You need to manage your expectations. Speaking of managing expectations, Obi-Wan comes out when I'm filming this in two days. I cannot tell you how excited I am for Obi-Wan, but I'm not expecting anything more besides Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen. I'm not expecting Qui-Gon, I'm not expecting Cody, I'm not, expe I'm, the, I'm not, I'm just gonna let it be. I'm super excited for Obi-Wan. Boba Fett was a disappointment, but I just think Obi-Wan's gonna be kick ass. I love Obi-Wan, he's one of my favorite characters of like all of fiction. So yeah, anywho. Finally, back to Doctor Strange. I'm going to give Doctor Strange like an 8.5 out of 10. I really liked it. Really did. It was really fun. Doesn't sound like I, it doesn't sound like I really liked it. 8.5. 8.5 is pretty high. It was pretty good. I was kind of debating on 8.5 or 9 out of 10, but I think the pacing uh, could be a little wonky. And again, it just wasn't as madness for multiverse stuff. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, that's this lazy little video. Just playing some Dreader. Doing it really simple. I just want to make post work as simple as possible. Uh... I go back to work shortly, uh, but even at work, I'll still do some movie reviews. They're going to be later, just going to be honest. I'm off Saturdays, uh, so that's when I'll see a movie and try to make a movie review within that time. But I also need to relax. I also need to see my girlfriend, see my friends. So I'll see what I can do. Uh, so they're, they're going to be a little later. But anywho, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching this weird, lazy, lazy video. Sorry. Uh, but also, I really hope you enjoyed it. I had fun doing this. I wouldn't mind doing this again. My review definitely didn't feel centered this time, but that's because I was playing a video game, a horror video game. Because um, horror video games are really fun. I like playing them. Uh, my next video might be director's commentary for both of my short films that were just released. Probably one video, just to make it easier. I'm still in vacation mode. Uh, and probably my next movie review is probably going to be... I'm guessing it's probably going to be Top Gun. I hope the movie's good. Looks good. It's got like a 97, 93% of Rotten Tomatoes. That's kind of crazy for a Top Gun movie. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys later.